what's up guys welcome back to another video and uh, in this video let's talk about this firebase ml vision kit uh, this is ml stands for machine learning okay this allows you to bring in machine learning features inside your flutter applications so uh, you might ask me what are those features right uh, features like um, basically this allows you to do a lot of uh, image processing tasks guys you could read barcodes of images you could uh, uh, detect text from those images you could detect phases inside a particular photograph and stuff like that okay so uh, this particular uh, video we will see how to do a text recognition an optical character recognition of an image uh, first of all i have scaffolded out a blank uh, flutter application here and uh, i have installed uh, uh, the firebase ml uh, vision kit as well as the image picker plugin and uh, i have incorporated firebase inside this application as well as you can see here i have the google services.json file and i have added uh, mod added the plugin in uh, build.gradle and uh, this app level build.gradle file as well so if you uh, don't know how to incorporate firebase inside your flutter application i have made a video on that i'll link that video in the description section below okay so now that i have these two plugins inside my uh, flutter application let me just go ahead and start off with a simple uh, app here i'll have a column and uh, inside this i'll have i'll have a button upon tapping this button you could either choose an image from the gallery or you could uh, use your camera to take a picture so for that uh, i'll do child uh, oh, why would i do child i'll do raised button raised button child uh, text uh, pick an image uh, on trust pick image fine oh, so fine now what we'll do is that will be an asynchronous task right so first i'll import this uh, image uh, picker plugin import uh, image picker dot dot fine and uh, here what i'll do is i'll write a new function uh, pick image this function will be an asynchronous function pick image sorry async and uh, i need to store this image in a file right so file pick image file i need to do an import i think uh, dot dot file or dot dot io or something like that dot dot io i think yeah it's dot dot io and uh, after this uh, what i lose mm, where uh, temporary storage equals uh, await image image picker dot uh, pick image sorry pick image uh, source image source dot gallery you could use the camera as well no issues and uh, set state uh, picked image equals temp store fine uh, now that we have a function for getting an image let's show that image the picked image as well so what i'll do is i'll before this i'll have a container maybe and uh, i'll try to show this picked image inside the container like a small preview or something okay so i'll have a container Now we have a uh, okay. Now we can uh, pick an image with the click of a button and uh, show that image in a uh, container, as a small container, right? Now uh, what we'll do is this picked image upon initial load it will be null, right? So this can't be null. 
so what i'll do is i'll have another boolean variable Bool is image loaded equals false and uh, here i'll set it to is uh, image loaded equals to and uh, here i'll check is image loaded Uh, now we can easily pick an image of the uh, mobiles gallery right okay there's nothing fancy in this we are simply using the image picker and then displaying that image in a container that's it guys now what we'll do is we'll uh, go ahead and try to read the image of that particular uh, i mean read the text of that particular image an optical character recognition a simple OCR. okay so for reading the text i'll have another raised button here I'll give some space, sized box, height would be some 10 units, fine. And uh, here as well I'll give sized box, height would be some 10 units, fine. And uh, here what I'll do is I'll go ahead and uh, read text. This should uh, read the text of that particular uh, image, right? So I'll simply call a function called read text. This will be another asynchronous function. First, I'll uh, import the import auto set Firebase ML vision dot dot. Yeah, this is the one. And uh, here I'll simply after this function future uh, read text async async and uh, final firebase async inside this is where we are going to be making use of the firebase uh, ml vision kit to uh, read the text of that particular image so first we need to process that image right so for that i'll just use firebase vision image uh, uh, our image equals um, firebase vision image dot uh, from file from file uh, what was it picked image right picked image fine now we have image uh, vision image and uh, using on this we can apply a text recognizer text recognizer uh, read text equals uh, firebase firebase vision sorry sorry vision dot uh, instance dot uh, instance dot text recognizer Fine. and uh, after this we can use this thing uh, to vision sorry vision text uh, uh, no we will recognize text and here we can use read text equals uh, await uh, recognize text dot process image and uh, here we can give our image you understand what I have done here right I need to read the text from that particular image. So what I'm doing is first I'm uh, creating a Firebase vision image from this particular image that we have picked. And then I'm instantiating a, uh, I'm creating an instance of a text recognizer. And then what I'm doing is I'm using this particular instance to uh, process this particular image. So uh, now we'll have the text uh, that's present on that particular image, right? So how are we going to view this? I'll simply print this out on the console so that you guys can for uh, text block um, block in red text dot blocks. So what this line does is it will uh, blocks is nothing but the broken down it, it, it the text won't be in a continuous way right it will be broken down into paragraphs and specific blocks with certain spaces in between them 
any text, right? So uh, it'll read those all those blocks from this particular text that has been uh, processed, okay? And uh, inside this for loop, I'll create another for loop. Uh, this will be for individual lines in that particular block. Line in block dot lines. And uh, inside those lines, there will be the words, right? So for that, I'll write another for text element uh, element uh, word in uh, line dot elements. Fine. Now if I just print word dot text, I would be able to see the text present on that image, right? I should be able to see the text present on that image. Let's run this on our mobile device and see uh, how this looks. It's pretty much simple guys. I'll go through this once again. I have a file that I have, file variable. And what I'm doing is I'm simply clicking on this uh, raised button to pick an image from my phone's gallery. And uh, once that image is picked, I'm showing a small preview of that image in the inside a container. And I'm having another button that will be uh, processing that image using the Firebase Vision Kit, ML Vision Kit. And uh, it'll read that, try to do an optical character recognition on that image. Once it has read some text, it'll uh, break it down into blocks and then store it inside this uh, red text uh, variable. And what uh, I'm doing is I'm simply printing off the uh, words in those lines of the text. That is, we'll simply get the text from the image. That's it. Let's see whether this works fine. Uh, I'll try run this on the mobile device now. All right, guys, uh, you should have probably brought this to the center. Anyway, let's simply pick an image now. Okay, I'll pick this don't believe everything you read image. Fine, we get the image on the, wait, let me bring this to the, uh, now you can see an image has been uh, loaded, right? Let me just tap on read text, I'll clear the console first. If I just tap on read text, it should uh, uh, pick the text of this image and then print it out on the console, right? See? You get this right don't believe everything you read everything has been uh, printed on the console now the very first time you try to run this application on your device it will be uh, downloading a model uh, from firebase okay so it might throw up an error but that's not at all a problem you just hot restart your application after that uh, download has been done uh, i mean after that error has been thrown you just hot restart your application and it will work fine okay so, uh, yeah, now we have this image here, right? Let's pick another image. Work hard, dream big. This is all caps, right? Let's see if it prints all caps. I'll just tap on read text once again. Work hard, dream big, all caps, right? It even uh, prints the full stop. Let's pick another image. Th this has more lines of, I mean, more words, right? Once again, all caps. There's no time to be bored in a world as beautiful as this. There's no time to be bored in a world as beautiful as this. This will pick up individual lines as well, guys. There's no, uh, first line there is, and uh, the second line no time to. The third line be bored, and the fourth line in a world in a world, right? It will be picking up exactly in that order as well. But the thing is, I have printed it inside this for loop, right? So everything will be uh, printing one below the other. You get what I'm trying to say here, right? That just because I have used these three for loops and then I'm printing it like this, it's uh, displaying all these words, printing all these words one below the other. Otherwise, it will be uh, 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 reading exactly as it's in the image, okay? So I'll finally do this, be bold, uh, brave and brilliant. Uh, the reason I chose this image was, it uses different font sizes as well as it uses a special character, the ambassador character as well. Let's see how this works. I'll simply click on uh, read text once again. Be bold, brave and brilliant. It works fine, right? The comma and the uh, ambassador symbol has been read as well, right? So yeah, guys, this is exactly what I wanted to show you guys today. Uh, in this video, we saw how to do an optical character recognition of the uh, image using the Firebase ML Vision Kit, right? Now you might ask me all these images contain 
text that was of uh, bigger size what will happen if we include uh, photographs or something like that photographs uh, of books i mean from books if you take photographs and uh, try to read uh, text of that it's not that much accurate guys i tried it with like uh, three images three photos but if you uh, uh, if the image contains fonts of a smaller size now i have selected images that have fonts of a larger size the font size is larger right even if it's of a smaller size it's working perfectly okay so yeah that's one another thing i want to wanted to mention here as well so yeah guys this is how you do an optical character recognition that is read text from images using uh, recognize text from images using uh, firebase ml vision kit inside your flutter applications this can be used for a lot of purposes guys particularly reading uh, text of uh, printed invoices or something like that so uh, yeah this is what i wanted to show you guys hit like uh, hit the thumbs up button if you really like this video if you found this video helpful kindly share it with someone and help them too if you like like uh, what i'm doing on this channel if you really like what i'm doing on this channel kindly hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon so that you receive notifications each and every time i upload a new video okay in that way you won't miss out on any of my content right so just subscribe to my channel it's free guys it's completely free so just hit subscribe and uh, i'll also be making videos using this firebase ml vision kit for recognizing photos of i mean faces of a photograph as well as recognizing uh, reading barcodes or something okay so that will be my subsequent videos of this series and uh, so yeah to watch all those subscribe to my channel and i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye